Renault's ongoing new product push has been bolstered by the arrival of an all-new model with a new name. This is the Renault Austral, and it's positioned as a brand new entry in the ever-competitive C-segment SUV market. As such, this new crossover replaces the Kajar in the brand's lineup and serves as a higher specification offering than its predecessor, thanks to key advances in technology and electrification. The most obvious is a completely different design, as the compact crossover adopts a fresh exterior look and a high-tech cabin, representing a significant departure from the model it replaces. But first, let's talk about its size. The Austral is 4.51 meters long, 1.83 meters wide, and 1.62 meters tall, with a wheelbase measuring 2.67 meters. It makes it a tad longer and taller than its predecessor, while being slightly narrower and carrying a stretched wheelbase. Cargo capacity varies from 500 to 575 liters, depending on whether the vehicle has a fixed or sliding rear bench. It's clear to see that the Renault Austral will continue to the new design trends of the latest Megane. Up front, it gets sleek pincer-like LED headlights wrapping around a honeycomb grille that houses that giant old-school Renault badge. Sharp creases and a two-tone roof add some character to the side of the car, with a sweeping LED light bar stretching across the rear. You'll be able to get alloy wheels ranging from 17 to 20 inches too. Making a debut on the Austral is the eSpirit Alpine trim. Inspired by the Alpine sports car brand, it brings a sportier look to the SUV. Key to the Renault Austral's interior is more tech, borrowed from the Megane. Two 12-inch screens house a Google-based infotainment system that fully incorporates Google Maps and other Android apps. You'll also have the option of a 9.3-inch head-up display for more info that can be projected onto the windscreen. As for the cabin itself, its design is inspired heavily by the Megane 2. It gets a similar split material design for the dashboard, with this particular car showcasing a mix of leather and wood. You'll also be able to have it decked out with high-quality fabrics or Alcantara, depending on how you spec it. Power is provided by a turbocharged 1.2-liter, three-cylinder engine, equipped with mild hybrid tech, described as being a genuine alternative to diesel. Yes, there's no oil burner available for the Austral, as the Kajar's DC has been dropped. The 48 volts lithium-ion battery and starter motor are part of a setup, making 130 horsepower channel to the wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox. With this mild hybrid advanced arrangement, Renault says fuel consumption is as low as 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers, with corresponding CO2 emissions of 123 grains per kilometer. Without the mild hybrid tech, the engine would have been 20% thirstier, according to the company's internal estimations. As for the E-Tech hybrid model, it's the full hybrid model based around a 1.2 liter unit. It always starts in electric mode and can be had with a combined output of either 160 horsepower or 200 horsepower. It sips just 4.6 liters per 100 kilometers and emits 105 grains per kilometer, prompting Renault to say it's one of the cleanest hybrid crossovers in its segment. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.